The state's still a buzz from Saturday night's University of Hawaii football upset win over 18th ranked Fresno State, even if there was no buzz inside the new TC Chink Stadium. UH sits as the lone FBS college football team without fans in attendance. New at 10, last night's victory is once again sparking calls on Governor David Ige to let fans back in. Man, the only thing is that really breaks my heart. We couldn't have our, our, our Hawaii family watch that because uh, I'd love to have them on that field uh, with me after that game, and especially our football family, our pa kids' parents. <laughs> A history-making win for the University of Hawaii football team Saturday night, but it was met with silence at T.C. Ching Stadium. Even some health officials are questioning Governor Ige's reasoning for not allowing fans at UH football games. I believe it is absolutely safe to have masked, vaccinated people in any sporting event, let alone the UH, uh, you know, broad open air stadium over there in Manoa where there's a nice little breeze that comes right down through Manoa Valley. That is as safe as you could ever ask. In response to a question from KHON2 on Friday, Governor Ige highlighted the safety of bars while watching games. It certainly uh, is different in the sense that uh, any gathering where you have large numbers um, and when we are talking about uh, sporting events that may attract, you know, a thousand people or, or more. It does become an opportunity uh, to spread the virus. But Lieutenant Governor Josh Green says watching the game indoors might not be as safe. It's a mistake to not allow fans to be outdoors because otherwise they go indoors and get drunk and yell at each other. And, and I love that too, but only when there's no COVID. So if we're going to have fans that want to yell and scream, do it outdoors, vaccinated in masks. It's the right thing to do. Hawaii State House Speaker Scott Psyche also chimed in last week, asking the governor to authorize fans to Saturday's game. As for the Bows, they hope public opinion will persuade the governor to, at the very least, let family members watch in person. For you, governor, e. Let's have fans. Sure hope so. Sure hope so. It's really disappointing to me, especially for our families, of our players. Really disappointing to me. It would be awesome to have the have the family members here and everything because I know they've been dying to get to the game, but unfortunately that's out of my control. So, but uh, but yeah, I would love to love to see my family members be able to see me play. Now the Bulls will have their next home game on October the 23rd when they face New Mexico State.